Oh, out of breath. So when you live in a sort of semi-rural location, one of the biggest things you've got to be wary of is, is snakes. We've had a, a few snakes in our garden in the past couple of weeks or so. So you take pre preventative measures, like tidy up any place where snakes can hide. But I'm going to show you <laughs> one of the problems I've got with my next door neighbour. Now he's trying to sell a house, so what we do, we cut a small path down here, but down the side of our house. Because look at the height of this grass here. And imagine all that, that lot is right next to our, our border. So I keep this down because the snakes don't like if there's no cover. Whereas if you have a look in there, it's a snake's paradise to live in amongst all of that lot. Now this is quite a big plot of land next door to us. But um, this is where the snakes come in and out here because it's the, the lowest point of the wall. The rest of it, it's not too bad. But here, uh, yeah. Um, now, I don't know what we can do. We can maybe put a, a grill across there. Maybe it's to this point here to stop the snakes from coming in. But also, if you stop the, stop the snakes from coming in, you stop the snakes from getting out. So thankfully, the couple of snakes that we've seen have been tree snakes and, and rat snakes. So nothing to, to, you know, to, to worry about. Out of 11 years here, thankfully I've never seen a, a, um, a cobra. I've seen a big python slither across the road and come into this grass. So I'll show you the, the next door's house. These are the things, I mean nature is a wonderful thing and it will take over wherever you leave it to take over. Now the guy who does this usually comes every six months or so, but now because we're in rainy season, as you can see it's just shot up. And there's a house there that's just been left to to ruins but it's a big plot of land you've got this these garages here they've got the house up to them back trees there the garden there's a little bit of an area here so for anybody who wants to make quite a big development or a big plot of land and do a, a shop house type of thing there's plenty of room to do it but just look at the I'm not even going to go in there <laughs> you know, who knows what's lurking behind all in bushes but look at that house it just basically wants knocking down because i've had a look when the guy cut the grass i went and had a look and everything in there is is damp moldy and uh yeah just needs an awful lot of work and i would suggest it's probably cheaper to um knock it down than rebuild it but this is why, why I keep that grass down, because otherwise it all gets grown up like that. And as you can see, our house is right next door to us and, you know, the, the guys over here who has the palm plantations keeps his grass cut very, very short. And our landlady, the landlady's daughter owns the grass next door to our house and the guy comes once a month to cut the grass and we we make sure all of this grass is all cut but as you can see it's it's a, a, a meter meter and a half wide but it does in my mind deter the snakes from actually you know coming into our garden as well so we do our best to to make places uninhabitable for the snakes but you can imagine if this plot of land also grew high it's right next door to our, our house so yeah just one thing to you know to watch out for is when you're living in a semi-rural location is snakes so that's my little video done with regard to looking at snakes and that oh just just one more thing as i say in in the back of our house my wife doesn't have a 
a garden and this morning because we were away for a week or two and the week the weeds are up to the height of the plant pots so yeah all our little holes that were into these bricks we filled up with mortar so there's nowhere for snakes to hide up until this point here and then past this point this is what i'm going to do eventually is fill up all of these little holes because all of these little holes snakes can can go in and uh, so as I say it's basically even stuff like this you know behind a bucket something like that I've been gardening here and doing bits and pieces so this is why I've got my stuff there but the weeds come up this was all done before we went away to Bangkok a week ago and we've had a bit of rain and away it comes <laughs> 